Today, I'm going to show you how to rename an extension in the Manager tool. So once you've opened a configuration, you will get to this screen here. And what you're going to do is you're going to look for the User tab located here in the User tree. So if I look down, I see User here. I'm going to um, left-click over it once. And once I click on User, you'll notice that you'll see all the users popped up in this field here. And then all the way over on the right hand side, you'll see that the user that I'm highlighting, all of his or her information comes up on the right hand side. So I'm going to rename um, extension 204 today. So if I want to, there's someone new sitting at this extension and B Powell has left. So I just want to rename 204. So what I do is I'm going to click on user 204. And you'll notice um, how his name uh, field is displayed. It says B, capital B, no space, and then his last name starting with a capital. So with our new user, we're going to do it exactly the same way. So in this, in this case, we're going to do Sam Fields. So we're going to do capital S, because that's what his name starts with, and then his last name, capital F, E-I-L-D-S, no space. Okay, we don't need to put anything in the password section here. This is not your voicemail password. Um, and then we want to do his full name here. So his full name would be Sam, and you can have a space here. This is what's going to be displayed on his phone. Now, if some people have um, a hyphenated last name, so if it was like Sam Fields Turner, um, and they wanted their name to be displayed, you could either like do another space and put his, last, his other last name there, or you could um, just squish the last two names together. But you cannot have any characters in these fields. So no hyphens, um, no commas, no periods, anything like that. It'll only read numbers and, and letters. Once you're done renaming the field, you're going to want to go to that person's voicemail tab right here. And um, what you want to do is you just want to re, uh, make sure that you reset up his voicemail code and then confirm his code. And then also check his, his voicemail to email here. Um, you want to make sure that you change this too. Right now it's going to this address here. So what I'm going to first do is I want to change Sam's voicemail code to um, our default code. For our default code here is 4241500. And it doesn't have to be that one, but that's what we use here. And again, I'm going to do the same thing here for his um, confirmed voicemail code. And then I want to make sure that I change his voicemail to email so the last user is not getting those voicemail to emails. So I'm just going to put do S, oops, F fields here. Okay. Then I'm going to press OK at the bottom of the screen. I also want to make sure I look around, make sure his voicemail is on. I notice right now that there's no check mark in this box. We want to make sure that user, since it is a new user, wants to have his voicemail on as well. And again, press OK. OK, so these are the basic things I need to do to set up a new user. So once again, I need to change the name field. I need to change the full name. And I notice I left an S off as a name here. So I'll just go back and put the S in there. Um, the extension's going to remain the same because he's just taking over that person's phone. And then I'm going to go to their voicemail, make sure I change the voicemail code to something that you know because when that person logs into voicemail for the first time, you're going to give them the code. And then once they log in, they can go ahead and re reset up their voicemail code. And then, of course, change their voicemail to email here. And then press OK at the bottom of the screen. And then now you can go ahead and save the configuration by pressing the blue disk up here or going to five, File Save Configuration. And that is how you set up a new user in the Manager program.